Are they a Matthew? Um, no, <laughs> they're the king. <laughs> um, I'm Matthew Potter, I'm from Fairways, and I'm a, a visual artist. I've always wanted to do art, so I did art when I was in school, and then I went to and study graphic design and art direction at Chipotle School of Advertising. A lot of people are searching for their own voice and their own style. So a lot of people would mimic other artists in order to find their style. And I wanted to <laughs> somehow stumble upon my own style. And that happened in 2017. What happening was I was just taking strands of hair from my fingers and just slapping it on the shower the towels in the shower, right? And in doing so, I started noticing shapes and forms. I'm busy looking at the sea on the wall, and I'm like, oh my word, that looks like a lady doing a pirouette, or oh my word, that looks like a lady doing a fox shot. And that is how my style developed. Um, it was through the hair on the towel. I think that's just <laughs> that's just how it came about, and it's it's funny that you mentioned chaos and control, because in my work I like to have control, but I also know that too much control is a bad thing and it limits the creativity. So I like the chaos as well because it plays with the imagination, um, and a goal of mine is also to display something that will cause a question mark. Colourful. And I would say abstract because um, that's not something that you see in everyday life. But yes, the, the form and figure of people are there, but it's not how you would see a person in everyday life. I finally had no more time for excuses when lockdown happened because I couldn't make the excuse of now I need to do this or I have to do this or I'm gonna go out or you know the idea was taking a back seat. So when lockdown happened, I had nothing to to lie to myself about anymore. So it was also a time in my life where I was like, I'm going to stop talking about things and I'm going to actually just put action behind it. Um, Siamese. That painting was my first collaborative piece that I did with my good friend Joel. The reason why I just called it Siamese was because there's also a fish called the Siamese fighter. And the Siamese fighter fish is something that needs to be isolated. It can't be in a bowl with another Siamese fighter because they would fight and destroy each other. And if you turn the painting on its side, it looks like a fish and the flowing fins in the water. Um, and that's also kind of like how Joel and I worked on the piece. I was isolated in my bedroom where I paint all my paintings and he was isolated in his studio when he worked on it. So we weren't in the same space creating it. Um, and I feel like if we were in the same space when creating it, we'd probably have a bit of some arguments here and there about what, how things should be done. Hi, I'm Matthew Potter and I'm exhibiting at Youngblood this first Thursday. Please come check it out. There are plenty of artists here that deserve your eye, 100%. <laughs>